couple important things for this. And again, guys, this comes back to the same thing. This looks confusing. You're not used to it. But can we quickly get rid of all the trick and just write it like this? And then we might feel a little embarrassed saying, oh, crap, we should know how to factor that, right? That is definitely from Algebra 1. And again, that is hopefully, you don't even need to factor this, but you automatically recognize this is a perfect square trinomial. So it can be factored into a binomial squared, right? Or you could factor it and get x plus 1 times x plus 1 and then do it. But hopefully, you know, some of these tips we can get from there. So as we recognize this relationship, guys, just replace all of our x's with tangent of x, right? Isn't that what we did? We just took every tangent of x. And we just said, let that equal x so I can algebraically simplify this, right? So now let's just plug the tangent of x back in. Back in. OK, so now to go ahead and solve, we square root, square root. Do we need to do plus or minus with, uh, with 0? No, because 0 is not positive or negative, right? So it doesn't matter. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I actually messed up this problem. I wanted it to do a negative, because I want to do the other problem. Sorry. So let's make that a positive one, OK? Because obviously, that was the exact same answer we already did. So that wouldn't be very fun. Um, so let's go and do tangent of x equals 1. So again, we want to find all the solutions, all the solutions between 0 and 2 pi, as well as um, all the solutions between 0 and negative pi. So let's go and graph 1. Well, tangent of theta or tangent of x is equal to 1 at pi over 4 and also at 5 pi over 4. I could take both those equations, add them to 2 pi n, or could I just take pi over 4 and add pi n, just like the other problem we did? So to find all solutions, I would just take theta equals pi over 4, which is my first angle and then just add pi. And I could add pi n number of times. B is finding all the answers between 0 and 2 pi. So for B, that's going to be pi over 4 and this angle, which is 5 pi over 4. And then C, which is find all the answers between 0 and negative pi halves. You guys can see there is not a solution that is in the fourth quadrant, right? So does not exist. Or are we going to say no solution? OK. Um, all right, so two new groups.